Yo, what's up guys? If you haven't already, make sure you guys watch my last video. There's a bunch of Chicago Bulls rumors about, you know, of course, our head coaching position and Jim Boylan. So definitely check that video out if you haven't. But yeah, let's get right into today's video. Today's video has a bunch of news. It's going to be filled with news about our new front office, you know, our tourists meeting Jim Boylan and, you know, our players and everything like that. And the Bulls interviewing draft prospects already. And I just want to say, you know, the Chicago Bulls officially hired our tourists as our vice president of basketball operations on April 13th. And of course, with everything going around right now, he hasn't been able, you know, to travel to Chicago. But luckily enough, he is finally expected to land in Chicago in the next couple of days. You know, he's probably there right now. This tweet is a little old. I'm sorry about that. But it is good to see that Artoris is finally in Chicago. You know, he's finally in his home building. He's going to try and meet all of the players, you know, meet our coaching staff, medical staff, and all that, you know. And speaking of change, I know all you guys, and myself included, want the Bulls just to fire Jim Boylan and get it done with. But I don't really see it happening anytime soon still, which is sad to see, but I don't know, man. It's just, it's been a crazy year. This offseason has been insane. But like two or three days ago, our tourist did say that he envisions no future changes to the front office this offseason. And he also said that he disagrees with the theory that this year's draft is not a good draft because a lot of NBA experts are saying this draft is really weak. And unless you have like a top two or top three pick, you're not getting like a game changing player. And he also said the Bulls have had numerous interviews with draft prospects. So that's good to see that our Taurus, you know, he got the job right away and he's already trying to figure out who the Bulls want to draft. You know, the draft is still very far away, but it's good that our Taurus is getting, you know, his news and everything already set in stone. You know, he's already interviewing players and that's a great sign to see because like I said, it, the draft is still months away. I'm pretty sure it's in like August or something. And like I said, Artur said that the draft is not weak. He said it's a decent class and he likes where the Bulls range is. Artur even said himself they're seventh in the draft lottery right now. I mean, we've drafted seventh for what, four years in a row now. So we're most likely going to get a draft pick around there. I really don't expect the Bulls to move up in the draft or fall down. We just haven't got lucky. So I truly expect the Bulls to draft seven and it sounds like Artur says two. And speaking of the, how the playoffs are coming back, of course, 22 of the 30 NBA teams are going to be in the playoffs. And like I've said in my past videos, the Bulls are not in that. You know, our Taurus, our new front office, and our players said, of course, it's sad to see. But what did you expect? The Bulls played really bad this season. We expected much more from this team. I mean, like our Taurus has said many times, this team is talented. We have a lot of talent. We underperformed bad this season. We should have been at least competing for the 7th or 8th seed, our Taurus said. It's just, it was a sad season, man, with all the injuries, Jim Boylan. But yeah, like I was saying, Artur says the eight teams left out of the NBA bubble have been in conversations about how to keep their like players sharp since the Bulls won't play another NBA game. And I think I've seen it's been like 10 months until the season starts up for the Bulls again. And that is a, that's a long time, man. That's terrible to see for like a young team that's probably going to get a new head coach, a new offense, new defense. You know, we're pretty much overhauling our whole new front office, coaching staff. It's just a terrible time for the Bulls players to take 10 months off of basketball. They're super young and, you know, the training and practices, it's really limited with all the stuff going around. So it's going to be hard for our Bulls to continue to, like, stay in shape and create a bond and chemistry with, you know, our current players. But our tours did say they have thought about some offseason scrimmages against each other. So that would definitely be cool if that happens. I've never really seen that before, you know. Like I've said, we're going through some crazy stuff. But it would be cool to see, like, the Bulls have a scrimmage against, like, the Hornets or, you know, another bad team not in the NBA playoffs this offseason. I feel like even if they broadcasted that or not, it would be really cool to see for us fans. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated if I hear any more on that. And speaking of, like I said earlier in the video, Artur said the Bulls have been interviewing a lot of draft prospects for us already. You know, not a lot of rumors about that came out, but one player the Bulls have interviewed and talked with a lot is prospect Zeke Nanji. You know, he played college basketball at the University of Arizona and was named Pac-12 Freshman of the Year as well as First Team All-Pac-12. You know, I'm, I'm not a big college fan, so I don't really know much college players unless they're big names, so I've never heard of this guy, but he is only 19 years old. He's 6'11", and he weighs 240 pounds. He's a freshman. Like I said, he plays for Arizona Wildcats. 
and this season he averages about 16 points, pretty much 9 rebounds, 1 assist while shooting pretty much 57% from the field. You know, I don't know how to feel about this guy, I feel like he's honestly nothing special. I see a lot of people saying that he's overrated or some call him a star. I mean he only shot 29% from the 3 point line and only 76 from the free throw line. And me just looking at those stats, it's not, I just, I don't see those Chicago Bulls needing that. I feel like the Bulls, like I've said in my past video, need a better Otto Porter. We just need a more athletic and younger Otto Porter that can stay healthy. Just a good 3 and D type player that can maybe, you know, become more. I mean, obviously that would help us in the future. But this guy, I just, I don't see nothing too crazy about him. I mean, his stats aren't insane or nothing. I mean, he's probably a really good player for, you know, Arizona. He, his stats look average. But, I mean, we do have the seventh pick more than likely. So, hopefully our Taurus nails this one and drafts another stud to help our young core. But, yeah, like I've said in my other videos, make sure you guys continue to leave any mailbag questions you got for me below. Or anyone that you guys want the Bulls to draft. Any draft prospects or anything like that. Or anything I should know more about this guy. Because just looking at his stats, like I've said, he's nothing too great for the Chicago Bulls. I, I think we need a good 3 and D type player. And this player, this guy just doesn't look like it. And back to the topic about the Bulls' new front office. You know, our last front office, a lot of Bulls players didn't like them, didn't trust them. And just around the league, you could, you just, you just knew that like other NBA players didn't like our front office and they didn't trust them as well. You know, there was always rumors and some, always some bullshit about our old front office. But Chicago Bulls forward Thaddeus Young, and I've also seen many other Bulls players like Zach Levine and, you know, Lloyd Marketing and others. They've said that like Artoris and Mark Eversley have both been great. And Young said the communication is amazing between the two. They try to keep us in the loop of everything and they trust us. And that just makes me happy to see and hear because like I've said our last front office was just a joke. Ever since we fired like Gar Foreman and pretty much brought in these new guys. I've seen that Lori Marketing and Zach Levine is so happy for change and all that. And honestly I am too. I'm sure all you guys are as well. You know, the Bulls have needed change for years now, and I'm just happy that it's, you know, it finally happened. And I'm sure the players are, and hopefully we get a new head coach soon. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for all the love and support on the channel recently. It's been crazy. But yeah, like I said earlier in the video, make sure you watch my past video as well. There's a bunch of news about Jim Boylan and our new potential head coach. So definitely check that out if you missed that video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Have a good one.